Hello and welcome back to our series on Catholic women. My name is Jenny Zehner and today we'll be talking about Blessed Natalia Tulis-Wysik. Natalia lived from 1906 to 1945 in Poland. Natalia Tulis-Wysik was a dedicated teacher in an archdiocese in Poland and an enthusiastic worker in the apostolate of the laity. Always deeply religious and concerned for the welfare of others, she wrote the following in her spiritual journey diary. My mission is to teach people that the road to holiness is not to be found only in convents or pious families. It passes through noisy markets and traffic-laden roads of the world. I want holiness for thousands of souls. It will not happen, it can never happen, that I will enter heaven by myself. After my death, I want to bring to heaven the vast number of people who die after me. Her dream was realized a few years later. Natalia's last years were lived during a dreaded time in Poland's history, 1939 to 1945, when the German occupation of her country was marked by arrests and deportations of Jews and Christians to concentration camps. It was during this time that Karol Wojtyła, the future Pope St. John Paul II, was forced to study underground for the priesthood. He and Natalia saw many of their friends and countless priests arrested for the sole reason that they were Catholic. It would take an extraordinary person with an extraordinary love of souls to forfeit one's freedom for a concentration camp, but that's exactly what Natalia did. Her desire to help others so was so remarkable that she voluntarily left with a group of women who had been sentenced to forced labor. Her aim was to work beside them, to give them encouragement and religious assistance. When the Gestapo found out, she was formally arrested, tortured, and humiliated in public, and finally condemned to death. After her sentence, when she, was rejo when she rejoined the women prisoners in their squalid barracks, she bravely climbed on a stool with the little strength that was left in her battered body and gave a talk on the passion and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Two days later, on March 31st, the Nazis brought her to the gas chamber in a concentration camp, where she died in the company of many others. Natalia is included in a group of 108 Polish martyrs who were beatified by Pope St. John Paul II on June 13th, 1999 at Warsaw. Thank you for joining us.